What's good y'all, Streezy here. I'm back with another episode of the Dark Anthology Pictures, The Devil and Me. And things started to escalate quite a bit in that last part. Uh, mostly for uh, Charlie as he was faced with the gas chamber turned complete inferno. But thanks to that premonition that I received earlier about his arm getting stuck in the door, I think I was able to successfully avert his death as he just opened the metal grate on the floor. But we've also found some interesting things about him. We found a tape recording talking about how he wanted his whole team dead. I don't really know what to make of that. I don't know if that's actually valid, if that's actually like false, if that's the killer trying to mess with our minds. But there seems to be more about Charlie that we don't know about. And yeah, hopefully that part gets explained. Everyone is still alive so far up to this point. The only person by herself is Aaron. Uh, yeah, I think that's her name. The one with the asthma. And then Kate, Mark, and Jamie. They were all together. So Aaron's by herself and then Mark's... I mean, Charlie's by himself. And we also found out that the Mr. Dumet that we met at the beginning of the game wasn't actually him. So who is that guy? Who is the person with the yellow hoodie that's just been walking around this island? I'm not sure. I'm just excited to get back into this next part, see what happens. But hope you've been enjoying the series I have. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's continue. Who's that? What? I'm down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it. Another trap. It's the only way out of here. I'm playing as Jamie. Going to find out. Find a way out. Okay. Anything in this room? Any premonitions? Is this a good idea? I don't see any other options. Mark's just way ahead of the pack. Slow down. Yo, Mark, can you slow down? Where the hell are we? I don't even see Mark anymore, bro. Why would he take off like that? Boom! Oh, he's right here. So I guess I'm taking the lead now. Yo, there's gotta be something in here. Nothing really? I'm looking. There's blood. There's gotta be something in these stalls. Nothing. I'm actually surprised. Yo, I'm looking. I don't see anything. That was part of like the renovations that they were doing. So 
so we go down there. Anything over here? There really is nothing. Where are the collectibles at? Jesse Clark. Site Foreman. Now I'm going to examine the body. Is there something else? I guess not. Oh, I can go up here. Hold up. I'm familiar. Yeah, Mark's looking over there. So there has to be something over here. Or wait, maybe this is the actual way. So what was Mark looking at? Y'all, I'm trying to be extra thorough this run. Oh, I can't go that way. That might be the right way, but I'm going to go over here first. Is something going to happen? Which way? Okay. Because Mark came over here by himself. I'm just afraid because, like, I don't know which way I'll go, which would trigger. I don't want to, like, I don't want it to trigger, like, a next scene if. This is our actual. Okay, that's not like that was the right way to go, so let me check upstairs real quick. Right, never mind. I'm so indecisive. I'm going downstairs first. 
I don't know if this is a big decision or not. But when I walk back there. Where do you think that leads? Man, I found this. Boiler room ceiling collapsed, dear all. Please note that due to the ingress of water from the laundry room, the ceiling through the boiler room has collapsed, causing significant damage to the plant machinery and water supply. In the circumstances, we have taken the difficult decision to close the spot with immediate effect until a repair can be made, which may be some months. All guests are notified and asked to vacate their rooms by this evening. Yours. Okay. We can't afford this. Golly. Okay. <clears throat> All that just for that. Okay, let's go the actual right way this time. I'm sorry. No point just standing around. I'm the only one moving. Select. Okay, that's the way to go. Worth a try. I'll see if I can get this open. You guys keep looking for another way out. Oh, he's right there. Case by yourself. Oh, that hurt. What? This, this wasn't in the script. I. Whoa. Where did we go? Is this a sauna? Where are the premonitions? I honestly don't know which way to go. Do I just go straight? There's something right here. Grantham Dumet, builder of what? Oh, it's a business card. I don't care about this man's business cards. Alright, I'm coming, Mark.
What does that say? KO? Oh, wait. <laughs> Jesse, I quit with immediate effect. By the time you read this, I will have already left the island. Don't come looking for me. I quit. I'm done. Monica. This thing's about to come alive. Laura Murphy, senior electrician. I'm waiting for one of these things to move. But what was making that sound? I can't examine that, though. See, there's a room right there. Oh, well, Mark's going that way. Yo, what? That's freaky. I'm finding all their cards. Frank Haldeman, project engineer. Was the job that bad? Okay, I'll take it. So I guess these were all the employees that worked on a project. He was looking over there. Why well, I feel my controller vibrate just slightly. <laughs> Bro, who is watching us? Stay close. Obviously. <laughs> Woo! What the fuck just happened? That one got me, not gonna lie. I don't like these dark hallways. I 
There must be something useful around here. Y'all, I cannot see a thing. I apologize. There's gotta be a way through. Y'all flashlights suck. Can't crouch under there. Keep looking around. Okay, that's the right way. Killed that. That wasn't even a tough balance. If I'm keeping it real. No point just standing around. I'm surprised I haven't ran into- I haven't found a premonition in a while. I hope I didn't miss any. Someone's about to bust through these walls. Mark, give me a hand moving this shit. I don't even think he made it. I haven't failed one of those yet. Why don't you keep your flashlight on? Like, I would never keep my flashlight off. I would have this at the full brightness. Something about to grab from underneath the floor? Nope. We're just gonna shimmy our way on through. <clears throat> Yo, what is this place? Mark, you coming? You better. Oh, what is this? Shut up. No. No, oh no, how will we ever get the key? Hey, Mark, you taking your time over there. This is how they treat their employees? Shit. 
Ryan Hart. What's the significance in these cards? Hold up. Are they saving? Are they saving these cards, though? Ah, master. <laughs> so this key can open every door in, in the spa. So we're good. We're chilling. I really thought there was going to be something right behind that door. There's something right here. You know what? I'm so over collecting these. I mean, I guess I'll collect them, but I'm not gonna. Hopefully Kate's still here. I was about to say, where is Mark? He is not trying to make his presence felt. I know he's scared. I don't blame him, I'm scared too. So are these premonitions like well hidden? Because I have not seen one in forever. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. Okay, that was fairly peaceful. We're okay. Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. That actually went well, as straightforward as it could. And now he's right there. <laughs> Hear that? This way. One eight one. Wasn't it just one eight zero? Oh, back as Aaron. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I'll be freaked out if I was her for real. Get away from me. Already? <sighs> Why would you go in here? I didn't even get to play. Now I'm back as Jamie. <laughs> oh! No! Get me the fuck out of here! Okay. I did not find a premonition for this. Please say you're 
Is this gas? Oh. I, I can't. She should still have I three puffs with her inhaler. I don't know if that would do These anything. Are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give the mayor? No. Not both of them. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? what? He wants to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. What? Okay. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. What? Shoot. Now! I don't want to! I... I... can't breathe. I'm sorry, Aaron. I... I'm so sorry. Wait, what? <coughs> While dying in the suffocation room, Aaron wrote, is Charlie on the glut? That's some bull. How was I supposed to choose? I thought she was going to. She's just fucking gone. Oh How god. could I have prevented that? Oh my god. I... I didn't know what to do. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. What? It's on us. This is all Dumet. He set us up. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. It's Charlie. That's what she wrote. It's Charlie. It must mean something. So what would happen if I pointed it at? Is she saying Charlie's involved in all this? How? He did get us out here. He insisted on it. What are you talking about? That's crazy. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective. I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any... Signal the crew formulated a plan to m to me at the lighthouse. How could I have saved Aaron? I'm so I'm sick. Ah. Uh
Yes. No one is going to believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops. <laughs> Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! Ah! Oh. Mark! Jamie! Wait, no, no, no! Oh, this is so dumb. There had to have been a premonition about that death to prevent it. I must have missed it somewhere. What's in the water? Bro, I don't care about these coins. I mean, honestly, none of these characters deserve to die, but, like, Aaron literally did nothing. Like, she was just trying to stay put, mind her own business, and... Oh, man. Like, was her dying tied to her asthma somehow? Where is he? Yo, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. 
Good thing I didn't open this door first. Oh my gosh. Stay calm. Don't touch that. Why are you so close to her face? I'm probably got to remember that. Yo, I don't like this. Where is he? Bro, hurry up and leave. Are you serious? Is he gone for real? Is he gone for real? Is he gone for real? Okay. Press the button. Press it. Okay. Press the button. 
Fuck it. What's this? Can I use that? There we go. Yeah. Okay, Mark. I really don't care about these coins anymore. I'm mad that Aaron died. Oh, now we get a premonition. What was that? Uncanny. That was, those were Mark's clothes and Kate finding him. Oh no. Secret FBI ID card, Hector Monday. Okay. New rec welcome new recruits, FBI training photo. Why is Hector Monday's face like scrubbed off? If I have to hide one more time, I swear. Psychological evaluation. Psychological assessment okay. by Dr. Isabella Garcia. Patient name, Monday, Hector. Behavioral observation. Hector arrived at our scheduled appointment 24 minutes late. Once we sat down and began the session, he struggled to maintain eye contact. He found it difficult to articulate his feelings and was terse and guarded throughout. Hector has been working long hours and as a result, isn't sleeping well. Hector spoke about his recently deceased mother and displayed evidence that he hasn't yet fully come to terms with her death. I strongly recommended a course of antidepressants, but he is resistant to this idea, believing that it would have a detrimental effect on his capability with regards to his current investigation. Hector describes his work in immaculate detail, and contrary to earlier in the session, his thought content is both coherent and logical. He is displaying an unhealthy obsession with his work. But his recent bereavement may be the underlying issue. Hmm. Interesting information about this Hector Monday person. Made out of there. I wonder what happens if I got caught.
freaking lab rat here for your amusement. Oh no. This area again. So now what? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, okay. Let me think about this. Okay, I did it. Good thing those aren't time for anything. Yes, there we go. I say turn the light on. Jeez. They be so quick to turn the light off. I'm like, why? Yeah, what the hell for real? Another one of these coins I don't care about. But they shoot it in here. Mark. Yep, we did our thing with Mark. Another premonition. So how would I avoid that? Don't like squeeze through anything? I just came through over here. What is this? to the art museum downtown yo what is going on a guy i forget his name famous painter he did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks you 
You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse, and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting, and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end, that's when you feel it. That's true art. This man is that's sick. What you have to be an artist, a sculptor, an architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. What? Uh, look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then. Huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. <laughs> What? There you are. I see you now. Not bad. Not bad at all. Their hands can feel good, huh? But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. You've got potential, Agent Monday. He killed Agent Monday in that interrogation room? You truly want to be an artist. Well, what? Oh, come on. <laughs> Please let me go. Oh, that's safe. You have to at least have some source of light. <sighs> Y'all, I'm just trying to stay calm. Like this, this game is something else. Like, it really is something else. Like, I'm... I'm basically speechless for a lot of this playthrough. Who says self-help books don't work? Don't get crushed.
Bro, turn. Don't turn the light off. Manny Sherman, the beast of Arkansas. Joseph Morello. Why is that it a picture? Matt on the ferry. Kate found a book by Joe Morello. The author's picture is a man who ferried. Th oh wait. Jamie listened to a tape of... Oh, it was Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Yo, what? I'm just trying to, I'm going to skim through this, hold up. Let's see. Just a schedule. <laughs> that doll's going to come alive. Bethany. That was the name of the daughter or a little girl. Connie. They had a dog. Mysterious creature K found a dog bowl with the name Connie. I still haven't gotten over Aaron dying. Beast body burgled. Body snatching article. So Manny Sherman was also a serial killer. <sighs> Oh, wait. I'm supposed to find a code? Did I miss something? There's gotta be like a code in here or something.
I'm confused. Where's the code? Oh my god. I feel so embarrassed. I I forgot about like the items and stuff that I can use and stuff. But yeah, I just used a pencil. The code is 1999. Focus. That's Jamie fighting the killer dragged. <laughs> Who is it? I saw that coming. Who is this? The woman is Michelle Morello. She was murdered by Doom. Oh, that's the woman from the vacation photo. That's where Charlie was. <laughs> but he's not innocent in this, is he? Oh no. Find a way to power the workshop. This man ain't got no light. Please, please, don't do anything. 
<laughs> what? Which one do I press? Yellow. Never hurt anyone. <laughs> Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. Is this how they make them? Oh man, I think this is important. Remember to switch off and lock out. Say clear removing belt. Evacuate via the emergency ladders. I don't like the sound of this. Oh my gosh. Woo! Very smooth, Charlie. Whose stuff is that? Whose bags are those? Regain your composure. I'm not here. I'm not here. Who's that a photo of? Is that the way out? Shit. It's me. 
Get in here. Wow. <laughs> Thank God. What the hell is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Nice. Get in there. Jesus. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching Whoa. everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Investigate the control room. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche. That he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. Take a look at this. Yep, that's where Charlie was just at. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. But we saw a guy in a yellow jacket with our stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. He's just not wired like the rest of us. That's not crazy. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. Secret found. Wait, he's Custom wearing a mask, mask email. part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Eighteen hundred dollars. Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does did his mommy not hug him enough? Bad parenting can definitely be a factor, but it could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure really. Lonnet crew. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. There's some stairs over there. I'm sure he fits the profile. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. He likes being in a position of power, especially over women. Okay, cool, but why? Lots of people put up with that stuff and don't turn into killers. Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. Oh, Can snap! Can this gear to find a way no. out? Maybe Dang it! No shutters in the lobby. Over here. I, I clicked it too fast. There might have been more. Look at this. It's all his little tricks and moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. I want to find Mark. Not play Demet's game. If we trap him, we can look for Mark without looking over our shoulders the whole time.
Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Jamie kept the screwdriver for herself. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Hopefully that's the right choice. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. Are we doing this now? <sighs> Head down the hall. Keep to the right. Okay. I guess we're doing this. We're doing the thing. Was this on the map? What if he expects us to find that and he's ready? You got you scared yourself. <laughs> More rooms being built. Huh. I do not care about these at this point of the game. Select. Woo! Oh. 
We're doing it. Be smooth. Bro, he's a just walking. Are you serious? Close it! Fucking close it! No, no, not yet! Oh no! He wants us to go in there. Are you serious? Shit. It's another trap. What does that what do? Is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. What, what, what does it? Shit. No. This is where uh, she died. I think, I think when I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. Towards me, you mean? Yeah, this thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait, I know. If I do press it, then you're the one that dies. Goddamn Dumet! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Are you see? It was the premonition. What? If I did nothing, Jamie was gonna. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie pressed the button to kill Kate. I know they didn't always see eye to eye, but I didn't think she'd be that cold blooded. Jamie chose not to save Erin when she could, leaving her to die, deprived of oxygen, suffocating. Bro, this sucks. I hate that. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it?
Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Would you like one now? Bro, I this sucks. You're on your own, then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress. As always, watching very closely. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode right there. I'm actually so upset with myself. I... I am clearly doing something wrong. Because the first time I did nothing, Aaron died. The second time I actually decided to do something, Kate dies. But the premonition shows Jamie getting crushed by the wall. So if I did nothing, would Jamie have died? Like, how was I supposed to avoid that? I'm so upset with myself. So, we have Charlie, Mark, and Jamie still alive. Man, that sucks. <sighs> we might be approaching, like, near the end of the game. Maybe. Hopefully. Th this can't go on for too much longer. Like, this is, this is ridiculous, but... Hope you're enjoying. I know I'm dropping the ball with these decisions, but it's my first playthrough, and yeah, I'm not too proud of myself. But uh, I'll see you in the next video. Till next time.